Well, hi there, folks. These are my uh, this year's exhibition show onions, and going under the lights, if you can see. As you can see, they're doing all right so far. So now it's about time to pop them on because they've been growing in three inch pots now. They've got about four leaves on, and if you can see, maybe, maybe not. Oops. The roots are starting to come out of the bottom of the pot, so they're getting a little bit root bound, and that's one thing that onions do dislike. And it can tend to make them bolt, go to seed later on because it's a bit of a shock to them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to repot them into these five inch, one and a half litre pots now. I'm going to thin all these out, there's about 60 odd here, to my, about my best 40. So there'll be about 24 go by the wayside, but that's what you do, you, you know, you grow more than you need and you keep selecting your best ones until you get to the final, the best you've ever grown. Well not the best you've ever grown, the best you've grown from the lot that you sowed. And under here, these are the giant onions that I'm trying this year. They're quite well advanced. I'm only growing half a dozen of those. They're just a novelty. So we'll get on with this thankless task of repotting about 40 onions and putting stakes in and clips to keep the leaves upright. So we'll get on and do that. Right then, folks. So here's like a, a general selection of like one tray of pots, one tray of onions. And that you've got a difference between the onions like that. So you've got a really good strong one there and a bit of puny one there so basically I'm just going to get rid of that one and just grow that one. So what I'm using is just Levington's M2 compost and like I say I'm just going to pop into a one and a half litre pot now. So I'll just put a bit in the bottom, I'll have a look at the roots, I'll show you the roots just to show you that they are really in need of a potting on. Oop. Yeah, there might be a little bit pot bound, but like I said, good strong white roots, which is a good sign. And I'm just going to simply pot that in there. I'm going to pot it on a tiny bit deeper than it was before, only a, you know, like a couple of millimetres. And then just as simply as just filling the pot up, selecting all the strong ones as I go. So that's it really, that should hopefully be my last potting. I'm going to hopefully plant them out at the end of March, well not out, but in the poly till the end of March, early April, so they've got about six or seven weeks to go. But like I say, they do start to get a bit pot bound and the roots are getting coming out the bottom again, I'll repot again into a bigger pot. The last thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to try and keep the leaves upright by using these canes. They're not flopped over yet, which is a good sign, it shows that they're growing stronger. And also use these things called um, plastic support pl um, support plant clips, and they're dead easy. You just clip onto these little split canes, like so, and then the leaves can't uh, flop out. You see, and it just keeps the leaves in this in the area that you put the rings in. Put them on one side, and then the other. Like so, it might have gone out of shot that. You get the idea and you just keep going up, keeping the leaves just growing where you want them to, like that. And that keeps stops them all flopping about. So that's it really, I've got about another, th well, 40 to do. I'll just give them a quick watering in and then we'll stick them back under the lights for another six weeks and then plant them out and hopefully we'll get some uh, some good that's onions it. this year. I managed to get six, uh, 33 out of my 60 odd, so that's my 33 best, I've basically Whittled them down to 50% and now I've lifted my light a little bit higher because if you can see on some of the tops of them actually they've burnt the top because they've grown into the light even though it's not hot the brightness will actually singe them so hopefully out of these 33 these are my best ones, my most vigorous ones I should get some decent onions this year if we get a decent summer and all goes well so that's it, another 6 weeks and they should be just about ready for going into the tunnel and then we'll see what happens with them see if we get any good ones this year that's about it folks, see you later